all right good day welcome loves welcome to my channel sagittarius this is going to be your reading all right because this is your season it's your time to shine i have a meeting today so i'm home right now normally i'm gone by now but i have a meeting in about an hour so um i figured yeah i've got time to get you guys done all right readings aren't going to get put out much because you know i have other things i have going on in my life sometimes i have more free time sometimes i don't all right, it just kind of depends. And what we got here? All right, you guys, anytime the cards fumble, there's a fucking reason for it, right? You guys, this just fell. There you are. All right, so anim angels and ancestors. And we have the ancient ones here. This one speaks of trusting your instincts. It's kind of like the animal keeper. All right, and then we have the earth here, and then we have the eagle with the seer. And then we have here your energy with the arrow, with the giveaway. Give your soul to the ancient ones and they will take care of you. They could be coming in the form of like earthly creatures, as far like eagles, animals, stuff like that here strong connection with the earth they're showing up they're here in the earthly realm all right you have the vision all right the reason i pulled the eagle and the seer is because they both have that same vision right they can see far and beyond more than what the average person can right your ancient ancestors you know they're the they were ones that wore i mean obviously well we have the beauty all right walking the beautiful path here is what i'm getting so what i was going to say is the ancient ones you know they were the types that wore headdresses they were the ones that wore feathers for ceremonial purposes and bones and all that stuff so i don't know why i'm still <laughs> shuffling <laughs> we have the witness here okay so mother earth with the owl here so and the jaguar so yeah they're coming in the form of literally um animals eagles owls jaguars cats yeah there's magic here and then we have the andean cross here so some of you guys are linked to like the southwest mexico south america central america they were they're indigenous also all right but the main thing is you have a vision but you are the visionary sagittarius all right the eagle represents you in um or not the eagle, the owl does here. Some of you guys could be 39 years old here. 45. 40. All right, so let's see what's going on here. But yeah, it's like the eagle and the seer, they see, they have like a, I don't even know what the aerial view is, but eagles can see far and wide. All right, they, they fly over storms, but I'm also getting that they... They swoop in and they grab anything up with their talons. I'm getting heavy protection here. All right. Mother Earth is the witness here. She sees your connection with the earth, with the animals. Oh, my God. And then we have the Empress with the freaking star. All right. So I feel like, yeah, you're here to do some healing work here. All right. Because you're the fucking Empress. The Empress can do that. You know why? Because she rules nature. So you guys could have Taurus somewhere in your chart. Aquarius. All right, but you guys rule nature, all right, or Taurus does with the Empress. So, and with the Earth here, I feel like, yeah, you got a heavy placement um, when it comes to the Empress. You're here to restore and rejuvenate and see through the future. We have the Death card here, all right, wow. And then we have the Knight of Chalices, all right, so you're a really loving energy, very intuitive. You're here to transform things. And replenish, like I said, and restore and rejuvenate. Because when things die out, yeah, there's that visionary. See, you are the visionary. You see like a seer and an eagle. All right? And it's like you are here to lead the way to a different way of living, a different way of being. To let the old die out and let the new blossom like the lotus here. All right? Because anybody knows that our world right now is it's dying, right? But things have to die in order to be reborn. 
So I feel like there's like going to be almost like a big ass shift happening here. Your crown chakra is on another level because you guys rule prophecy, accuracy, higher knowledge, wisdom, um, higher learning, all that shit. People underestimate you guys because they, they only see what you put out, right? Which is your sun sign. They see carefree, spontaneous, free spiritedness. And people don't understand that because you go against the grain. You're not part of tradition. All right. You're about breaking that and showing a new way of living and being here. You're here to teach. Teach people about nature. The more you give to nature, the more you get back, but you can't expect anything in return either. Yeah, you're here to heal nature. That's what I'm really getting. You have the energy. You have an abundance of energy. You're like that fucking wild horse, right? That needs to just run. You're, you're just, that's who you are. That's your nature. And with the death here, yeah, it's like, this rose, lotus, whichever, are going to start unfolding. You're going to see we have the high priestess here. You're very in tune. Very connected is what I'm getting. I'm getting like a trine. Maybe you guys have like an earth trine here with the empress or a water trine or an air trine. Yeah, it's like you have all that deep knowing. You have all that that knowledge, that wisdom, that spirituality that not everybody has access to. Only a priestess has access to that. There's a lot of hidden things that you're bringing to light is what I'm getting. Because in order to have change, we have to expose things, right? It's about being wise like an owl, all right, and bringing wisdom. We have the judgment poking out here. All right, and then we have the sun card here. So yeah, it's like you're here to spread a positive message. Yeah, like I said, there's gonna be some big changes coming in. I also feel like you're here to help people rid the ego, the arrogance, you know, stuff like that. But big changes are coming in. It's like you're waking and shaking shit up here for a reason. And your an ancient ancestors are here on earth to help you. We have here the four of wands. Yeah, there's gonna be change coming in everybody's community. I feel like you're here to wake up people that are around you here to spread happiness and joy. It's a homecoming. Your ancient ancestors are coming home to help you. They give you power. They give you strength, energy. We have the queen of pentacles that landed here. Yes. Somebody here has got Earth somewhere in their chart. We have the Strength card there, the Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like you're here to create a balance here. And you're very balanced yourself between your Earth and your Fire here is really what I'm getting. It's like you can scorch the fucking Earth, but when you scorch the Earth, you know that it's going to like make things grow and blossom even more, right? And with the Queen of Pentacles here, I see you as somebody who is a nurturer yet a go-getter at the same time. It's like you know how to balance them energies between work and home and spending time and finding time in nature here. Because if you guys are an earth trine, you, you have to do a lot of healing earth work here. We have here the eight of wands, all right, here with the six of pentacles. So I feel like you're here to communicate that, you know, everybody has to give back, to be giving, to be generous, to be loving. All right, to give to the earth, pick up trash, plant things, put water out for animals, all that kind of stuff, and just be a giving energy here. You're here to create movement and change. And the way you communicate is to communicate and teach people that if we want to overcome things, we have to move into a harmonious energy here. Ten of chalices. Ace of chalices. Okay, so open people up because I feel like a lot of people just like suppress their emotions. They, you know, are so detached from reality because they're detached from earth. And when you're detached from earth, you lose all that empathy, right? The more you connect with earth, the more you feel. 
And the more you feel, the more woke you become. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords here. The more woke you become. You're here to spread revelations, to show revelation. Wow, look at, there you are dropping out the deck here. With the Ten of Chalices, the Magician, the Fool, and the Justice. These are all together. Yeah, I feel like you're here to serve justice, to bring balance, to create and manifest the world that we desire to live in here, to pave that path, to understand discernment and moderation here. You see beyond all of this, and you're here to wake people up when it comes to this, to just let go and do you, all right? Be adventurous. Go out and explore nature. Go on adventures, all right? And the more you're out there, the more clearly you see. And the more clearly you see, the more you can create and manifest and the more those tools are being granted to you to create this change. I'm getting like a big change. Like you know there's a change coming and it's because you're part of it. You're here to show the way. We have Mother Earth here showing up a lot here too. So yeah, it's like your ancient ones are here in the earthly realm. They're showing up in the form of animals. Some of you guys might even like see things that look like faces of your ancestors. This one is wearing horns like a deer. You see beyond the veil of illusions. You have ancient bloodline blood flowing through you. All right, so let's wrap this up here. Yep, yeah, you're here. We have here the Four of Cups here. So if you've been contemplating if this is your destiny, it is. Woo! Caught it. We have here the Six of Swords. Yeah. Your spirit guides are here. All right. If you've been wondering, are they coming in the form of animals? Are they? Yes, they are. Your spirit guides support you. They see you. And they're helping you. Confirmation message here. All right. So I'm just going to leave that there. Just a short little reading here. I mean, with all these major arcanas, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have the Ace of Swords here. So you have nine major arcanas. So I feel like, yeah, something is going to be completed here. The Spirit Guides, they're guiding you. They're helping you create this huge transition here on Earth. All right, and it's going to be a beautiful transformation once it's all said and done. So I'm going to leave that there. You have a good day.